So my aunt has congestive heart disease, and recently she was rushed to the hospital. Luckily, she survived, but chronic diseases don't happen overnight, and problems with them happen cumulatively. So if our homes actually monitor health, particularly for chronic disease patients, we can avoid many of these hospitalizations. Now the question is, how do you monitor health at home? Unfortunately, the picture today is not very lovely. If you want to monitor breathing, you need nasal probe or chest band, heartbeats, pulse oximeter, motion for Parkinson patients. You have to ask them to wear all of these sensors on their body, uh, falls or something on their neck, and sleep. You have to ask them to put all of these electrodes on their heads and sleep with it. What if somebody comes and tells you that we can monitor all of those things in the home without asking the patient to wear any sensor on their body? That's exactly what I do in my group. We invented smart Wi-Fi box that uses the wireless signals around you to monitor your breathing, your heartbeat, your gait, falls, even sleep, and all of that without putting any sensor on the body. Now, you might be surprised, but actually, you guys are sitting here, you are in a sea of wireless signals, Wi-Fi, cellular, everything. And every move that you do, you lift your arm like this, it changes the electromagnetic fields. And those changes, actually we analyze them with AI algorithms in our box. And we know you lifted your arm, you took a breath, or this is your heartbeat, and without any sensors on your body. Let me show you a video of this. This is a home, and the wireless signals spread in the home. And actually, they reflect off our bodies and come back to our smart Wi-Fi box that uses machine learning algorithm. Here, it detects a fall and can alert the caregiver via phone, text, or email. Here are a few examples from the lab. So you see the student standing there. We want to monitor him with a device in the adjacent office through the wall. Imagine somebody monitoring us from the room next door. So this is where the device is, that arrow there. The thread dot is where the device thinks this person is standing right now. And now as the video starts, notice how the red dot is tracking him. Pretty accurate, isn't it? without any sensor on his body, purely based on how his body interacts with the electromagnetic waves around him. Not only it can track his motion and gait, if he falls, it can detect it. So this blue line that you see over there is his elevation going to the floor level, and it detects a fall. Now, not only we can detect motion, we can detect brain activities with wireless signals. So when you go to sleep, your brain activities change, and you enter different stages that correspond to uh, being awake, uh, light sleep, deep sleep, and REM, rapid eye movements. These sleep stages are, of course, associated with sleep disorders, but they are correlated with important diseases such as Alzheimer, Parkinson, depression. If you want to monitor sleep stages today, you send the person to the hospital, they put all of these electrodes on his head. This is how he needs to sleep. You can imagine, this is not a happy moment for him. <laughs> we can do this in the person's bedroom without any sensors on their body. So you're going to see, this is our device here. It transmits very low power wireless signal. It reflects off the person's body. It analyzes using AI algorithm and spits out his sleep stages throughout the night. And it, is, has, it has the same accuracy as putting those electrodes on the person's head. And he's, of course, more comfy. We are monitoring here breathing of this person. What you see up and down is his chest movements, his inhales, his exhales. We ask him to hold his breath, and you see the signal stays at a steady level. Because he exhaled, he did not inhale. Again, without any sensor on his body, just using the wireless signals around him. Let's zoom on on the same signal. So you're going to see these are the inhales. You see the exhales. And these blips that you see on the signal, these are actually not noise. They are his heart beats, beat by beat. The future is about homes that understand our health and can monitor it and can even detect health emergencies before they occur so it can alert the doctor and avoid hospitalization. Such future would change healthcare as we know it today, would dramatically reduce the number of hospitalization for chronic disease patients, reduce the cost of healthcare, improves outcomes for patients. Thank you.